nine, he came upon a 12-year-old female. She appears to be stabbed. She appears to be what? Stabbed. Stabbed? She says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. Is she awake? She's awake. Is she um, breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. She said she can take shallow breaths. She's alert. I mean, she's definitely happy to be at home with her family and her pets. Um, you know, it's just, it's a relief to be in a familiar environment versus being in the hospital with doctors and nurses um, in and out of her room, you know, constantly. So she's resting at home and improving every day. It's a story many of you still talking about. We're still sharing it with each other. And it's hard to even wrap our heads around it. Two 12-year-old girls accused of luring their 12-year-old friend into the woods. They're supposed to be playing hide-and-seeks. Next thing you know, they're accused, these two here. One holds the victim down, the other starts stabbing. As they say, go ballistic, go crazy. 19 times they stab a 12-year-old. They told the cops they were trying to impress Slender Man. And there's the shot of Slender Man, some kind of uh, demonic boogeyman type that lives in the forest. They thought if they killed their friend, they could go live with him in the forest, and he would be pleased. Unbelievable all the way around. But there's a huge outpouring of support on Facebook for the victim. Tuesday was Go Purple Day, uh, and the hashtag on the Facebook page is Hearts for Healing uh, This Victim. $42,000 raised and thousands of purple hearts sent to the 12-year-old girl who is recovering at home. We just heard about that moments ago. Now, the two suspects, they've been charged as adults. They're set to appear in court today. Joining me by phone, John Cuoco from affiliate WDJT in Milwaukee. That's one of the first questions. Are they going to be charged as adults or juveniles? But help us out here, John. In Wisconsin, that's just the way it is. When you're charged with a crime and you're over the age of 10, it starts in adult court, right? That's right, Mike. Wisconsin is one of the toughest states when it comes to punishing children the same as adults. A 1995 state law requires prosecutors to file adult charges in homicide or attempted homicide cases if the child is at least 10. Now, 28 other states have similar laws, although their minimum age is no younger than 13. Okay. Well, and I know this is a tough one, John, but i got to ask. I mean, do you sense a leaning where this is going to end up in adult or juvenile court? Because you got on the adult side or something that's heinous in this. It was premeditated. Yes, they're 12, but they planned it for months. Well, I, I can tell you this, Mike. Uh, I've talked to the district attorney here in Waukesha County, Brad Schimmel, and he's adamant that he wants this to stay in adult court. It's expected, mm. though, the attorneys, of course, are going to try to get this knocked down to a juvenile case. But Brad Schimmel, the attorney, uh, the district attorney here, says he's adamant about keeping this in adult court. Got it. Hey, you know, just an offshoot of this is we still kind of grapple with trying to understand this, John. Do we know anything more about the accused? I mean, we know that, yes, they got into this creepy pasta, these death horror stories, and they wanted to please Slender Man. Anything else? Would, did any of their classmates talk about them at all uh, since the time of, of this alleged crime or attack? And it's, the focus really has been on the victim in the case. I mm. can tell you that. You know, there's really been this rallying around the victim. A lot of the talk, as far as the suspects go, has been pretty quiet. But when you really think about it, uh, both families involved here, the victim and the suspects, haven't really gone on camera. They've stayed quiet. So uh, we'll probably learn more as, you know, this hearing goes on today and in the future. But right now it's been relatively quiet here in Wisconsin. Tell us about the victim. And we heard at the outset there that the victim's at home recovering. And we're also thankful for that. But what about just the, the go purple and hearts for healing and people rallying around this girl and her family? Yeah, it's, it's really been incredible from where we were when this girl was first found. You know, initially there were so many questions of, you know, why is there a 12-year-old girl found stabbed in our neighborhood? And what's the connection between the two other girls? And then all of this other stuff came out. And from there, it's really transitioned into this rallying around her. You know, students and staff at her middle school in Waukesha proudly wore purple to show their classmate that they're thinking of her. Uh, you know, the family is extremely surprised and grateful from all the support they received. I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars, thousands of likes on Facebook. And this isn't just Wisconsin. This isn't just the United States. We're talking about messages from Mexico, Canada, Nigeria, all around the world. It's, it's really been an incredible response. Well, John, thanks again for keeping us updated on the story. We continue to share and try and really uh, understand John Cuoco reporting for us uh, from WDJT there in Milwaukee as these uh, two suspects are in court today. John, appreciate it. Thanks again.